Good afternoon and welcome to our webinar. My name is Evgenia, I'm the sales manager on the Benelux market at Synology and today I'm going to talk about how Synology solutions can help you work remotely. With companies widely adopting hybrid work mode, our goal is to give you the tools to work in the most convenient and efficient way. And that is true in today's world because of coronavirus, companies maintain remote work or hybrid mode and they need to ensure that their operations are not disrupted for all their employees, whether they are on site or not. And to do that, they need to make sure that their IT infrastructure is up to date. Indeed, employees working from home may not have the possibility to work productively because of lack of resources. It is important that all internal tools and solutions of a company work efficiently remotely and safely. Finally, the remote work strategy should be easy to set up, easy to maintain and be cost effective. Let's see together the mistakes we should avoid to ensure data security and accessibility. As a company building your remote office infrastructure, you cannot fall into these traps. When you work out of office, you can find it easier to keep your files locally, especially when you don't need to share them. However, this way you cannot collaborate on the files and your data are not protected. If you lose your computer, damage it or have issues with your drives, all your data might be lost as well. Also, you will not have access to your data when away from your home without your computer. We also don't recommend using USB devices. It's definitely not a good idea. Indeed, you don't know who exactly has this USB device or who has the latest version of the file. What's worse, it can be easily lost or damaged. It, should, it would lead then to a data loss. And especially working remotely, it's just not possible to collaborate or share files. You also should not share your files via emails and there are several reasons for it. When you use emails to send files, collaborators send different versions of the file that they were working on, and it is tough to keep track of the latest, or the latest version. Emails also limit the attachment size, and you might need to compress it and lose quality and time. And you can lose or delete by mistake some emails, and therefore lose your data. So these three ways to share files should really be avoided by companies. Some alternative solutions exist already, but they are not always suitable to every company. Most of the time companies have remotely accessible servers, but it means you open your server to people on the outside. So it's very limited when it comes to security. In addition, you won't be able to access other ser servers or data that you might need because you will only have access to this specific server that you have shared over the internet. It can also be very expensive. You would need to get the hardware and also buy licenses to be able to use it. To access your network, you can also use a dedicated VPN server through a device or your router. It will create a secure connection between your network, LAN, and clients like remote workers. This solution brings more security, everything is encrypted, however, it is not easy to set up and usually need, need dedicated hardware. Of course, you can go for cloud solutions for easy file sharing and collaborations. Cloud is easy to set up and maintain because it's not hosted by you, your data is just going through the internet to the cloud provider. However, it gets expensive on the long term because you have to pay subscriptions every month. Additionally, you don't control your data. You cannot know if your cloud provider will decide to access your data. So in terms of privacy, it's not a very assuring solution and therefore it's not recommended in many cases for these reasons. Synology worked a lot on finding the best solutions to give you data protection, easy setup and accessible prices to help you with the remote work mode. We provide solutions for every use case, depending on what you need. The first solution is to have a local NAS 
with remote features like Synology Drive and Quick Connect. It is very easy to set up and to access remotely. It also allows you to share files and to collaborate on them with your colleagues. Here your data is safe, this solution ensures your data stability and safety. Moreover, as it is usual with all Synology products, you don't have to pay any license fee for these features. If you want to go further, we have a complete networking solution for small and medium businesses. We designed a whole range of routers that enable access to your entire network and not just your NAS. All our routers have integrated tools, including VPN, which allows you to control and secure your network, and of course, you use these features for free. One of the main goal of, goals of ours is to provide solution that you can just buy, quickly set up and use without any additional licenses. I want to give you more details first about Synology Drive, which is our file sharing, synchronization and collaboration tool. What is it exactly? Synology Drive is a file sharing and synchronization solution that can fulfill a complete range of use cases. It is your own sharing platform that is going to be hosted on your NAS locally. It is a comprehensive file management system and you own your data. The solution is compatible with most of NAS models and you can easily deploy it and it's completely free without any license fees. You control everything, the data are secure, and you have the data encryption possibility. Now we know what Synology Drive is, the next question, how does it work? Synology Drive is going to be hosted on your NAS. You install Synology Drive server onto your NAS, and then you will be able to connect from different devices. Using your computer, connecting to a web portal on any browser, or on Synology Drive client that you're going to install on your device directly. Of course, you also can access your data from your mobile device, from tablet, through a Synology Drive mobile app, which is available on iOS, iPadOS and Android. So Synology is accessible from all your devices, but let's see now how does the web portal work? What exactly is the Synology Drive web portal. It is a portal that can be accessed on your web browser. This is a web page that is going to be connected to your NAS, compatible with all browsers. You don't need to install anything, just connect to the URL given by your NAS to access the portal. Inside this portal, you can preview files directly in the browser, download them onto your computer, and you can also have some additional features for sharing and collaboration. In terms of sharing, you are able to just take your files stored inside Synology Drive web portal and change the sharing settings. This way you can decide who can see the file, edit it and manage it internally. You can also protect your files with a password and share them externally. You will then get a public sharing link to send to the person not working in your company. This person will need the password to access the files. Inside Synology Drive Portal, there is also an inbuilt collaboration tool called Synology Office. This solution allows you to collaborate in real time on documents. It's available for text documents, spreadsheets and slide presentation. So you can open, for instance, a text document and you can work with multiple people at the same time on the same document. It is only available on the web browser. It is great if you simply want to access your files remotely, but sometimes you also need to have those files locally on your desktop. For this, we also provide a dedicated Synology Drive desktop client. What is the difference between the web portal and the desktop client? In the web portal, you are going to access the files remotely. With the desktop client, you will be able to synchronize the files to your desktop. That gives you a way to have a local copy of all your files on your Windows PC, your Mac or Linux computer. 
Once you have these files synchronized locally onto your computer, you're able to access and modify them directly using the Windows File Explorer or Finder on Mac. So because you're going to access these files just like local files, you'll be able to work with all your existing applications like PowerPoint, Adobe, etc. You can open a file and modify it on your computer and then it's going to be synchronized to the NAS when you finish working on it. Synology Drive allows you to automatically synchronize once only the folders that you choose. If you have a lot of data, you don't always want to synchronize everything to your computer. Of course, when you make changes on a synchronized file, all these changes will be carried onto the NAS and also to every connected device. This is a great way to make sure that everybody can work on the same files using the same NAS. There is also a personalizable versioning built into Drive, so you are able to choose how many previous versions of the file you're going to keep. The versioning lets you keep previous version of files to go back in, in case of issues or mistakes. For example, if you open a presentation and delete some slides and you don't realize it and you save it without the slides, you will still have the ability to go to Synology Drive client and retrieve a previous version of the file. So it's a great way to protect your data against mistakes or bugs. You could see that Synology Drive desktop client is great for synchronization, but that is not all. When it comes to synchronization, the issue of storage space can appear. You don't always have a lot of storage on your device to have all your files synchronized locally. That is why we develop on-demand sync to help you manage your storage. It is a file streaming solution. Files can be in two states. They can be downloaded locally, in this case you will see a little green mark next to the name of the file, or they can be kept online, in this case you will see a cloud icon next to the name of the file or a folder. The online files won't be synchronized locally, but if you're connected to the internet, you'll be able to retrieve them directly from the NAS by simply opening them. You can choose which folders will be hosted locally, on your computer and which ones will be available for downloading but not yet on your device. This way you'll be able to reduce the storage used on your computer. Let me mention that On Demand Sync is only available for Windows for now and we plan to release the support of macOS in Q2 this year. Of course you also have the possibility to access your files from your mobile device. Drive app allows you to access and share easily and quickly your files on a mobile device available for iOS, iPadOS and Android. You don't need to take your computer with you all the time. Your files are accessible from anywhere as long as you have internet connection. But you also can save your files to access them offline, which can be interesting, for example, if you're on a business trip, like on a plane. You also have built-in sharing tools, so you can easily share files directly from your mobile device. The app is compatible with Synology Quick Connect for easy remote access. And Quick Connect is the next topic that we are going to discuss. Everything that we have talked about so far is going to be hosted on your NAS. So by default, it's only going to be available on your local network where the NAS is located. Of course, when you're working remotely, you need to have access to your files when you are not in the same network as you NAS. To do this, we have developed an easy way to set up remote access for Synology Drive, Quick Connect. So what is Quick Connect? This is a built-in remote access device service that uh, will relay the connection from your NAS to all devices, even if they are located outside of the network. You can enable it easily in your network settings. There is nothing complicated in it. No need for port forwarding. You just need to connect to your Synology account, select a name, which will be your Quick Connect ID, and everything will be done automatically. 
All your data transfers from Quick Connect are encrypted for privacy and linked to your Synology account, so you don't have to worry about data security. If you forget your ID, you can easily find it on your Synology account. This feature is completely free and of course is available on all Synology NAS. So once you set up your Quick Connect ID, you'll be able to use it to connect to different services remotely from anywhere. So with Quick Connect, you can connect onto the web interface with a dedicated URL or to the Drive client for desktops and to the Drive mobile application. You'll be able to use the Quick Connect ID instead of the NAS IP address to connect remotely. Everything is maintained like if you were on the local NAS. Your credentials and permissions will remain the same to access the files. So it's a very simple solution to access your NAS. I can give you an example of one of our customers that use Synology Drive. This is Zone NAS. It is about 370 firefighters of the NAS security zone in Belgium. They want to have a centralized infrastructure that is easy to, ma to manage because they wanted to devote their time helping people instead of their data management. RS18 or 17 Access Plus units were chosen to be deployed in a high availability cluster hosting different Synology applications, including Synology Drive. They can share files and collaborate smoothly and efficiently from their different locations. On top of that, they use this infrastructure for backup, for directory service and uh, video surveillance features. So Synology solutions match all their needs centralized in one infrastructure. If you're looking for a more advanced solution for, the, for file management, you can decide to have access to your entire network from anywhere, not just your remote NAS. That's where our second solution comes in. We offer also multiple solutions to allow you to create your own network, and that is using Synology Routers and SRM, Synology Router Manager. As you might know, today we have two Synology Routers, the RT2600AC and the MR2200AC. We will discuss them in a moment, but first let's have a quick overview of Synology SRM. Synology Router Manager is the interface we use to manage all our products. SRM is a fully fleshed network OS designed specifically for Synology routers. SRM is based on DSM OS and you may notice they are very similar. It is easy to use, there are many features, and it's nicely designed. It is available to be installed for free on Synology routers and provide multiple applications for it, such as secure VPN connection with VPN+, a total control of your internet access with safe access, and a secured LAN with threat prevention. Now let's get deeper in SRM features. In terms of the standard router features, SRM gives you a complete Wi-Fi management control. It supports 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz with smart switch to adapt when devices are located very far away or close to give proper connection to every device. It has port forwarding for external access and it is compatible with Quick Connect that we discussed earlier. You can manage bandwidth to decide which device will have access to the best available bandwidth and you can create a guest Wi-Fi totally separated from your na main network. SRM supports 4G dongles for mobile connections, for example, in case if the main connection has issues. So you can have a dedicated uh, a standard wireless connection to your router or a 4G dongle to take over if any issues. That's what we call a smart one failover. It guarantees you always have one connection active. And load balancing, which allows you to pull from two connections to have a better bandwidth. Let's talk about another Synology router application, VPN Plus. It's one of the most interesting applications, especially if you want to have a completely secure remote connection for your employees. 
there are multiple ways to approach a VPN. So four different ways to set up. The first one is the Synology Web VPN, a dedicated web page that your employees can access to get uh, the VPN connection remotely to the company's resources. Then SSL VPN, it's a client-based VPN. You can install it on your computer to connect remotely. Synology Site-to-Site -Site VPN from two Synology routers from two different locations that will con be connected and they will create one unified network, so a mix of two existing networks. We also support some open standard VPN, SSTP, OpenVPN, L2TP and PPTP that are common VPN protocols that you can use if you want to. With VPN Plus, you can set up VPN permissions on a user basis if you want to enable only specific users to access the VPN resources. You can also set speed limits to protect your bandwidth. And what is great, you can do it all for free. Let's now focus on the two most interesting points, Synology Web VPN and Synology SSL VPN. Let's start with the Synology Web VPN. It is designed for an easy remote access for all your employees through the web browser. And the advantage is that you don't need to install anything. You just open this VPN in the browser page and from this page you can access any IP of the network. You can also create bookmarks for your users to help them find services easily. I'm going to show you a quick demo and you will see it is very easy to use. I'm on the web VPN page, I want to access my NAS, I enter the IP address of my device and it's redirecting me automatically to my NAS located in the office. So just by typing the IP of the NAS, I can access my Synology NAS remotely. It is a great way to access quickly one specific resource of your web page. If you want to do more than this, you can use Synology SSL VPN. So SSL VPN, as I have already mentioned, is a client-based VPN, giving you a complete LAN access. You need to install the client on your computer. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, Android and iOS devices. You will then connect to the browser, enable the connection between your PC and the VPN, and all your traffic will be rerouted through the VPN. Your computer will act as if you were in the office connected to the office network. SSL is completely transparent for the user and you can do everything as if you were in the office. You can conveniently use File Explorer to browse your files and run programs through the VPN. Here I have another demo to show you. I'm on the same NAS located in the office and currently I'm working from home. I want to access my NAS remotely without going through the web VPN. I want to edit the files directly from the Windows File Explorer because it's much easier to use. I have installed the Synology SSL VPN client onto my computer. I go to the VPN web page, I click on the connect button and it will create a secure connection between my computer and the VPN network. Then I go to the File Explorer and I can access the IP of my NAS and then I work with the files just if I were in the office. Of course, when you have multiple people connecting to the VPN, as a company, you will also need to ensure a safe and private access. To help you do that, we also have a dedicated solution that is Safe Access. Safe Access is here to help you enforce specific rules of your network. It is a complete access control solution which can be used by anybody. A company to set up profile for each user or one line uh, rules, but also by a family to act like a parental control solution. You can then block specific websites through the pre-made lists or specific domains like all the social media or video streaming platforms in general. You can also set up internet usage schedule. For example, you can block Netflix during working hours, but allow it during lunchtime and evenings. Of course, you can block not only unwanted websites, but also dangerous ones. 
For that, we have integrated security tools, DNS and IP threat intelligence database and Google Safe Browsing. These databases will automatically identify dangerous and malicious websites and block them. You might want to go further and block all malicious packets coming into your networks. That's why we developed Synology Threat Prevention. It is a specific application that can be installed on your Synology router and it features signature-based deep packet inspection or DPI. A packet is a small block of information moving on the internet. Our solution will look at it uh, at all the packets coming from the internet and will automatically quarantine or remove malicious ones. It is more effective than simple DNS-based security. It won't block websites, but specific pieces of information coming into your network. It's then possible to block any incoming threat onto your network before even letting them come into. You can customize your security policies, set up to clear logs and alerts in case of malicious events. You can see which devices are trying to connect to a dangerous website or are targeted by a malicious packet. The solution might have an impact on the CPU to maintain network speed, but SRM limits this impact. You can maintain most of the network speeds on bandwidth, even with threat prevention activated. Synology threat prevention can also work in bridge mode. For example, if your Synology router is already connected to an ISP modem or router for internet access with an Ethernet cable, you can put Synology router behind your existing ISP router. It will automatically scan all the incoming traffic and stop the malicious packets. Currently, threat prevention is not available using MR2200AC as a main router. You would need to upgrade to the RT series. Let's now see the networking hardware that we have to propose. Uh, and you will see which router you could choose to meet your needs best. Uh, as we have just seen, we currently have the RT2600AC compatible with threat prevention and MR2200AC, which is a mesh router. But what is a mesh router? A mesh router is a tool to build a scalable network. With MR2200AC, you will be able to create a unified network with the same network name. For that, you can connect multiple routers between them. Your devices will choose the best signal without dropping the connection. You can have multiple Synology routers in your house or your office to extend your Wi-Fi coverage. Both RT2600AC or MR2200AC can be used as the main router. So when you select a router model for the mesh network, you can choose between these two models and then you can add multiple MR to expand your coverage. The management is centralized on the main router to be transparent for users and everything will be synchronized through all the access points of the building. It can support daisy chaining as well. If you want to expand your network, you can mesh the routers one after another. They are very easy to install with the DS router app of your mobile device. Now, how to build a scalable network? Since we currently have two routers, you may choose one of them as a main router. If you want a bigger range, you can select the RT2600AC main rotor, which also features threat prevention. And if you need a smaller uh, range, for example, if you have a small office, you can go for MR2200AC, which has a 185 square meter range. Once you have set up your main rotor, you can add another mesh rotors each one giving you 185 square meters more of network connection. We recommend to have one mesh rotor on each floor and keep the main one at the center of all of them. However, you might want to wait a little bit more before purchasing a solution because we have announced a brand new rotor coming really soon. 
That is the RT6600AX. It's our new Wi-Fi 6 router, which is a new Wi-Fi norm for faster and more reliable connections. It is a tri-band design. Usually you have 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz in a two-band design, but now you will also have 5.9 GHz band. With this you'll be able to have up to 6.6 .6 gigabit per second of combined wireless bandwidth, which is not at all bad as connection speed. In terms of configuration, you can have 2.5 gigabit port that can be used as a LAN port to connect your, ro your router to a network. You can use it to connect 2.5 gigabit devices to your router or a one port as an in port coming from outside of the network to the router. And you can use it if your ISP provide 2.5 gigabit internet. With this new router, we also introduced the new version of SRM, which is the SRM 1.3. And there are two main new things in it. The first one is VLAN for added security that gives the ability to create multiple virtual networks. And the second is isolating and one-way firewall rules to better separate all the networks on the router. Let's see it now in more details. Regarding the VLAN feature, you can create up to five separate networks on your router and each one can be customized. You can personalize firewall rules, access policies with safe access and manage traffic. Why would you need to create separate networks? Because not every device connecting to the network needs the same permission, access or bandwidth. So you can isolate devices outside of standards like IP cameras or IoT devices. You may want to separate for privacy reasons your smart home devices like Alexa from your computer where you keep all your data. You will then create a virtual LAN, a completely separate network on which specific devices will be hosted. You will therefore have increased security of your network. SRM uh, 1.3 also features the new DS Router 2.0 companion app for mobile devices. You'll be able to manage everything from your home, from your phone. Here you have a comparison table of our routers to sum up all the specs. The new RT6600AX is the only one supporting Wi-Fi 6 and is getting early access to the new version of SRM. The other routers will of course also support SRM 1.3 just a little bit later. On the new router you have three bands compared to the current two routers and a 2.5 gigabit port that can be used as a one port as well. The maximum VPN clients uh, supported is double compared to the RT2600AC. The new RT6600AX will be available soon. For more information regarding its release, please subscribe to our newsletter. You will then be the first one knowing the date of its launch on the market. And that is all for today. Thank you for participating in this webinar. As usual, the chat will remain open for 15 more minutes to reply to all the other questions you might have. For wider questions like partnership or projects requests, please contact us at bnl at synology.com. Thank you again and see you next time.